Okay. We are here with Annabelle Friedman. Yeah. Hey. Uh, tell us about you. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a Los Angeles based musician and clothing designer and human. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Do you want to tell us any um, specific, you want to shout out any specific projects or, or yeah, tell us about your project, projects in a little more detail. Cool. So I guess with music, I have one project that's out called Free Debris that is a nine track EP um, available on all platforms. And I have a handful of other singles that are out at this point, but I've also just completed an album, which will be coming out this year. And... Um, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and um, with clothing, that's been a really fun, like, kind of upcycling endeavor that has been really enjoyable, um, both with marbling, which you know mm -hmm. about. I'm very familiar with marbling. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we actually sell some of Annabelle's pieces at Space Dust. Yeah, little baggies. Yeah, little, little <laughs> pouches. Yeah, accessory pouches. Yeah, and it's been nice because it's kind of like, um, especially during COVID times, it's been nice to think about like how to repurpose things that I wasn't going to be using. So all that stuff is actually for a music video. There's a song called Little Toes that's out, and we had these like white, um, I don't know, satchels sort of thing. Like I'm not sure exactly what you'd call them, but they were like garments that we made that kind of almost look like togos or something. Uh -huh. And I didn't know what to do with all this extra material, so I used that material to dye, awesome. um, which was not, really fun. Yeah, I did not realize that. Okay, cool. So we have yeah. at Space Dust, we have these pouches <laughs> that are hand marbled fabric. <laughs> yes, from Annabelle's music video. Yeah. That's so cool on so many levels. Okay. Yeah, and shout out to Viri, who's the cut and sew artist yes. who turned those into actual pouches too. Who's awesome. also really on that tip of like trying to minimize. Um, you know the global impact on with how much we use so yeah, yeah very it's important. all like extra um zippers and stuff that she had so yeah i feel super lucky yeah that's awesome Perfect. so um <laughs> tell us about what you're wearing today you have yes. this outfit which is a little covered right now i know a little, little bit a little bit chilly but yeah. we can give a reveal but you can tell us about <laughs> everything that you're wearing so from the bottom up i got some docks that were from a goodwill very grateful for the situation <laughs> they were pre-worn comfortable and uh these pants are one of yours from space dust um so comfortable i love the zippers here and they're so i'm just gonna stand for you too i don't know if you can see that but they have the pockets in the back which is a necessary situation <laughs> And yeah, they were actually, I remember when I came in to, um, you hemmed them for me too. So oh, you yeah, had them right. long, like already. And then it was like, Ooh, where should they go? And so the custom length was yeah. like super lovely. Just an extra little bonus. Yeah. yeah. Actually, my <laughs> sister got these three necklaces for me at the, um, Fairfax, no, not Fairfax, the, um, flea market, uh, Rose Bowl flea market mm. recently when she was in town. So shout out Ariella. Thank you. <laughs> and then this, uh, is a hoodie that I always keep in my car. It was getting cold. We did not have this for the photo shoot, but Capyak is a group that I work with often. Actually, they were the um, collaborator for that song, Little Toes, that the music video yeah. was. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> so, yeah, they always keep it warm. <laughs> awesome. And you had a little tank top on underneath, too. Yes. Um, yeah. And you don't have to show it, but... Um, and that could just be... And you don't have to shout out. Like, you don't, <laughs> we don't need all the details and everything. But I love the way that you also styled that with, for some of the shots, you styled that with sleeves that came yeah. off of a vintage dress, I think? Yeah, or? the dress was Jess's from Moon oh. Honey, Jess Joy. Okay, shout out cool. Jess Joy. All the shout outs. <laughs> exactly. So those <laughs> sleeves, she was like, I don't know what to do with this dress. I never wear it. Do you want it? I was like, I don't really wear dresses that often. Personally, I love them, like, especially on other people. <laughs> but I was like, I will take those sleeves, though, because she was just going to donate them. So they're kind of like white with black or like cream with black polka dots. And yeah. So you helped me out pin them but on the That was just such a cool situation. I love I love the like, you know, you can change your outfit up so easily just with some sleeves. Exactly. I'm yeah. like somebody else made the sleeves. I just cut them off. <laughs> but I'm down for it. Yes. Well you created the look. Thank you. Um, and then we also got some shots of you in a dress. Yes. But I you yeah. know what? I thought it was a dress that you'd be into. Yeah, so totally. I'm glad I was right. Yeah, it was like stretchy, comfortable, it had a massive oversized hood, which was like dreamy yeah and perfect and yeah I love dresses for shoots and for things like that it's just like during the day I don't know just yeah. don't usually end up like I have a few dresses because I love them especially long ones um, yeah all all two of my dresses are long ones yeah <laughs> and so that one I was like hell yeah I'll go with that awesome but yeah it, it was enjoyable and comfortable as well sweet <laughs> awesome um 
So can you tell us um, what drew you, since these pants belong to you, mm -hmm. can you tell us what drew you to these pants? Well, you did actually. You did. Yeah, but I mean, also, <laughs> I just really enjoy the stripes. I haven't seen pants like this, and I felt like they were just so well made that yeah. I was really excited that they could be customizable, but also, like, the first pair that I tried on fit perfectly. Yeah. Too, so I was just like, oh. That's great. And they look awesome on you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So do yours. They work well. <laughs> Thank you. I was actually really close to getting those. Oh, yeah. Because well, I was like, oh, those are also amazing. Have these. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> exactly. yes, Shout yes, out. Yes. <laughs> Exactly. So, um, can you tell us, is there a way that you could describe your personal style? Like, do you have a, a phrase a or anything or? I don't have a phrase yet. I'm open <laughs> to suggestions. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I think that like, it's kind of like it, my style reminds me of when you get to someone's house who's like cooks with like nice ingredients. Right. But they are maybe low <laughs> on like, the essentials, <laughs> and they like pull together like what is like gonna be a magic moment. I actually and, really like doing and, that too. Like I like cooking at other people's houses when they're like, I don't know what to make. Oh yeah. So I feel like so my like, closet is <laughs> like like scavenging <laughs> yes, for the, exactly. all the ingredients, and you yeah. put it together, and it tastes amazing. Yes, exactly. And you're yeah. like, oh wait, because yeah. there was discernment, and it's like I actually like the ingredients in my closet. It's like someone who had good taste for their pantry to begin with but maybe they're low on like what they thought the bangers were that's my closet <laughs> yeah, that. that's so cool <laughs> thank you so for you where do style and art intersect i know this is a tough question Ooh, but you know that's a good one yeah it's wearable like art i feel like yeah you know and i think it's nice because it's like we are all choosing to wear something every day mm -hmm. and i feel like a lot of people think that fashion is superficial and i think that just denies that like yes everything we wear all the time is superficial and we have the choice to either play with that or not you know and also take ownership of what the signaling means to other people because a lot of times we're kind of expected already to wear a certain thing in a certain way right you know and so right yeah so kind of breaking rules and but also i love i love what you just said about it's always superficial so let's have fun with it <laughs> yeah right yeah it's literally the top it's topical it's on top of our skin but yeah. like it also serves a function and it, it can be really comfortable it can, it can be an feel extension amazing. of yeah. us yeah. yeah yeah i feel like um there have been a few moments when i've had conversations with people about like how commanding a signifier feels really empowering and that it actually like leads to like real connections too like yeah. Even my bandmate Kofi and I would like when we went to um, South by Southwest a few years ago. There's this one day that Kofi just came looking so fly and looked so cute, and everybody like approached him like, "What band are you in?" You know, like already making the assumption that he's an artist, which like he's an artist regardless of how he dresses. Mm -hmm. You know, M much like I'm an artist regardless of how I dress. But um, I do think that it paves an easier path for ourselves when we dress in a way that sends signifiers that we're deliberate about because we're already sending signifiers. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, I love that. <laughs> so what, I guess, what brought you to Space Dust initially? Was it? Yeah, <laughs> I think it was, yeah, it was definitely yeah. you, but also I think I first went there for Echo Park Rising not oh, even right. knowing that's that right. that was your store. And yes. then I was like, what? what are you doing here? You're like, this is my store, awesome. what are you talking about? Yes. Yeah, but I went a, a few years for Echo Park Rising and then, um, I was in there maybe twice when I was like walking pre-COVID times when I was just like, well, let me peruse Echo Park and yeah. see what's up. Yeah, it's been awesome. a, a staple. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you love about Space Dust? Oh, so many things. I love that it has local artists. I love that it's a really inviting and welcoming space and that it's always adapting. I feel like every time I go in there, there's like been growth. Mm. And that's just so gorgeous to see because I think like a lot of times people get stuck on like an initial branding or something or try to like this is what it has to be forever and I just love like even the last time I came in how it was just like there's a mural here now and like it's just like <laughs> yes like keep going you know yeah. so that yeah. it feels like I really adaptive it is such an extension of me that it's always I'm always changing and growing so why Same. not the <laughs> space that I'm creating and inhabiting exactly um so why do you personally feel like it's important to shop local um First of all, it's easy to shop local. Yeah. <laughs> like, like everything's true. here. Like, we are so spoiled. Yeah. So, we it don't doesn't... need to reach that far. No, it's actually yeah. like kind of like, oh, I shop local is like a cop out a little bit because right. it's like dumb. Shouldn't that be normal? <laughs> Almost like how like organic fruit should yeah. be the normal fruit. 
Right. right. Like, why do we have other options? I don't know. I mean, I do feel like, obviously, there's, like, such huge consequences to our planet. So, that's, like, an easy shout out is, like, don't do that. Like, minimize that. Obviously, like, a lot of the resources we have in any shop, like, there's really nothing that is consumer-based that's, like, zero waste or, like, guilt-free. But I do think that there are, like, better options, you know? Yes. And I think that that, like, reduces harm greatly. So, even just for transportation of things, it's, like... Go ahead. And also, like, it's cool because then you might run into someone you know or walking around with a garment that somebody is familiar with. Then it's, like, a point of connection already. Yeah. So I've had that happen so many times. Yeah. So magical. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so what about Echo Park? Do you love Echo Park in particular? And I have so many good memories there. Yeah. Like, I remember even as a kid, like, in high school, like... Okay, shh, don't tell, but I would, like, use my fake ID to get into the Echo. Oh, my oh God. No. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, my God, I want to show to the Echo, you know. What's and the then statute to, of limitations I know, on? <laughs> like, I mean, I'm grown now, yes. so maybe. So if you Call me after you can kick off. I know. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, they, I, like, remember idolizing it as a kid. And then I remember also seeing, like, a lot of the, like, pain of, like, gentrification that's happened there, too. And so, like, at this point, I have, like, really good memories with Echo Park. And I also have some, like, you know, like, anything we love, there's room for criticism. You yeah. know, like, why criticize things you don't love? Um, I appreciate the residents. I appreciate so much of the music community. Like, I feel like a lot of the majority of where I was able to, like, even finesse getting to know people has happened in Echo Park. Like, yeah. play, like, a girl scene. Yeah. There's so many other really important pivotal movements happen there and probably continue to happen there too so right, right. Yeah, it's all it's every <laughs> I appreciate your point of view yeah yeah because yeah. you're you're right I mean it's it's the the wonderful and it's the the difficult stuff yeah it's I mean even stress. with the like fence up around Echo Park Lake like yeah it, there is no Echo Park without also the violence that happens when we displace people so yeah especially thinking about it now like that's something that I consider um yeah but I I love what it has meant and I hope that it will continue to honor the people who do live there mm -hmm. and whether housed or not yes <laughs> yeah yes um do you have any other specific place in Los Angeles or environment that you love to go to to create or get inspired besides a beautiful park yeah like honestly Ascot we're Hills here. Park here we are <laughs> here in Ascot Park I actually hike here two days a week uh before work a couple of times a week and then whenever else I can also Griffith Park I really appreciate I would say my home like shout out wherever yeah. you're at you know <laughs> like yeah. honestly that's where the majority of my writing happens and like most of my work happens there most of my growth happens there most of the like you know fall aparts that are so essential <laughs> but also um I think everyone else's studio, like everyone's home studio or like work environment that I've been welcomed into has been like incredibly formative. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad we got to shoot in one of your favorite places yeah, to exactly. be. Yeah, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, can you highlight the positive change you'd like to see in the world and how you feel mm -hmm. that we can enact this change? I think an easy positive change would be to abolish the police like mm -hmm. now like we could really do that right now and I think it's not even just like it's not even just um the police as an institution which obviously yes but the police in each other that like feels that we have to incriminate or that we have to disappear people in order for safety to occur yeah. or for justice um justice is not punitive it can't be um ever based in revenge you know yeah and so it has that to be to based me, in healing and literally. and community yeah exactly. yeah yeah and we can't be yeah. ousting people or making people afraid yeah. to live their lives yeah and it just doesn't work I mean like it people are always like what about murderers what about rapists it's like did that ever stop somebody yeah you know and also like okay we get somebody um in this really violent environment after they you know let's say it was somebody who was violent like it doesn't change their behavior it's not um restorative in any way right. it's certainly not transformative so it's completely pointless and violent and also just like if it weren't and, for capitalism it w and the patriarchy it wouldn't be happening right and clearly so. that's why it's a big waste of money and resources and exactly yeah yeah and it's an environmental calamity too like so i think a lot of these things are tied in people are often like either environmental justice or like 
I don't know, something political or social justice or like they, it's like put into all these things, but they're all interacting with each yes. other. You yeah. know, the way that we disappear garbage reminds me of how we think we can disappear people like mm-hmm. do- nothing ever goes away we have to deal with it all you know yeah yeah so, yeah i don't know i guess it's a lot of things but i think abolishing the police would be very um that could that could happen yeah. think about eight yeah. million dollars a day in lapd alone mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. we could use that money come on <laughs> yeah agreed yeah. So. well is there anything else <laughs> you'd like to say or to ask me oh <laughs> i would like to ask you what do you feel proud of with your shop Oh, gosh. I feel proud that even in the darkest moments, and when I say that, I'm kind of like, it's just a shop, darkest moments, whatever. (laughs) But you care about it, so yeah. There have definitely been moments where it's been such a struggle that I have, and it struggles, it's a struggle on my psyche because it's personal, it's very personal to me, and I wouldn't do something that is not personal to me. Um, But I would say that I'm proud of having envisioned the alternatives for my life and having still come back to it. And that's just, it's, it's reassuring to myself that like, you know what, this is the the best case scenario for my day to day, at least for right now in my life, I can always decide not to do it. I can always change my life, but I'm I'm really enjoying it now. And I'm, I'm proud to be filling it up with more clothing too. And have friends shopping yes. and wearing my clothing and to see them in the, my clothing is so cool yeah yes. and it's growing so much too like I feel like the way that the shelves have so much of your own line too is just so admirable thank you seriously I'm glad you're proud of that because I'm proud of you for that <laughs> thank you yeah awesome thank you well, thanks for chatting with me today yeah thank you yeah I appreciate you I appreciate you give me a hug Good job, everyone. Great work. Or were, you, were you doing this? Because I didn't, I couldn't tell. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I know it's so dark. I'm getting dark. I know. I know, right? Oh, <laughs>